You want to learn some quick little tips on what you can do to tweak your marketing to make it even better? That's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Shauna Anderson Newt, president of Spitfire Advertising, where we help our clients stand out, build relationships, and create experiences to really engage their target audience. And today we're looking at Girly Girls No Sport. So this is a project we just worked on with them. They are an awesome, fun, hip company. Go check them out on Facebook, Girly Girls No Sports, where they go out there and they have a lot of fun. They're not only teaching women about sports, but they're also doing trivia contests and, and other things where they can learn prizes, they throw events. They just did this awesome event in Chicago and that's what we're going to show you today are some of the items that we provided for them and how we took what they were already doing and tweaked it just a little bit to make it even better. Girly Girls target market is women who don't know anything about sports, whether they're a sports mom, you know us moms who go out to the football games or the soccer events and we really don't know what's going on. I mean, we, we know enough to know that that's an end zone and they have to run the ball. <laughs> well, that's what Girly Girls helps you with. It's so when you're sitting there and you're watching your kids play sports, you understand what's going on. They also help the single woman. So if you're single and you wanna attract more men or you wanna go hang out at the sports bars and you know meet that ideal guy and have a conversation about sports, they're gonna help you with that too. Or if you're an executive and part of your new role is to take your clients out to these sporty events and you don't want to show up there and not know what's going on, they're going to help you with that. Or if you're a diehard fan and you know everything about sports, go over there, join the conversation, win some prizes. She does trivia. Her name is Lee. She's awesome. She is an amazing business owner and she's so much fun, but she'll do some trivia on asking about, you know, the pass for the Super Bowl, like who, who won the most titles or something like that. And if you're the first one to answer, then you're going to win a prize. There's a lot of good stuff over there. So check it out. This project that we just did for Girly Girls No Sports was an event they were doing in Chicago at a big sports bar. And they were doing auctions and raffle items. They had live music, tailgate parties. They were doing a contest for the best tailgate recipe. Uh, they had education sessions. They had autograph sessions with former Chicago Bears players. They even had VIP and sponsors. And most important, especially to millennials, is they gave back. So they partnered with the Peyton Foundation and they were giving back to them. When Girly Girls Know Sports came to me and they said we're throwing this fun event and these are the promotional items that we want to do for it, they were just placing an order. But that's not how my mind works. My mind's always looking at what my clients are bringing to me and thinking, how can I do that better? Three of the things really caught my attention. So I asked, are you open to some ideas that I can help you make this even better? Because they had fantastic ideas and the right products to use. One of the things that they were doing is they were gonna put coasters in the sports bar leading up to the event, which would have their logo and their Facebook page on it. And I thought, okay, sports bar, sports fans, love trivia. How can we get them more engaged? What can we do to get them to go to the Facebook page, to come to the event, you know, they're sitting there in a bar, they have time to talk and they like trivia in there. So I thought we can take that same imprint area and instead of just doing a logo and a Facebook page, we can do a trivia question. And in fact, we'll do three different trivia questions. One on each coaster. So we do three different imprints, same quantity she was ordering. So I just divide that by three and all she would have was the additional charge for changing the copy, which is really nothing. So, we were able to take what she was already doing and made it even better. And when they went on to the Facebook page and they answered those trivia questions, they were entered into a drawing to win tickets to the event. The second thing they were doing were shirts. One of the types of shirts we did was, and this was the original idea, was white shirts with rhinestones. So I'm just showing you what that would look like. Cute, right? It's cute. But... I thought, what's better? Their logo is adorable. So why aren't we doing that whole logo? What some people don't know is that we can do two different imprint types. So the top with the girls, that's screen printing. 
and then below is the rhinestones. So we combine it together and it looks so much better than just doing the rhinestones. And then I said, Lee, do you have the budget to go with a colored shirt instead of white? In case you didn't know, white t-shirts are less expensive than darker t-shirts. There's a little bit of a difference. It's not a huge difference. Uh, but I also know that if she's selling these shirts at the event, that white shirts don't sell as well. And I really want this logo to pop. So I said, gray is very popular. We could do a nice V-neck, women like V-neck, and it's a lighter weight shirt, which women like too. And look at the difference. It really pops between putting it on the gray and putting it on the white. And the gray will sell much better than the white will for her. Then they said, we're doing swag bags. So I said, what are you doing for your swag bags? And, she, and Lee, Lee has this really beautiful, great taste. Everything's high end and upscale. And I said, okay, what are you doing for your bags? And she said, I was gonna get some really nice gift bags and then put the, the items in there. And I said, okay, well, people are gonna throw those bags away. So is that really a good investment for you? Instead, what if we do the clear stadium totes? That's where your target needs to be going. That's how you're gonna get your name in front of more people. Going out to these sporting events, they have to wear, bring their clear bags to get into the stadium. I said, so if I can get these bags for you at this price point, are you in? And she said, absolutely. So we did it. We did it. They look amazing. They are so good. And her marketing is going on and on instead of just doing a gift bag that's going to be thrown away. Do you see how this changes it? You're ju we just tweaked a few little things. Everything they're doing is absolutely amazing. All I did was look at it and go, okay, how can I make these things that's part of my part of her event better? Right? Because she thinks of everything. Any event that Lee does with Girly Girls No Sports and her other businesses, she thinks of everything. She is the queen of doing events. So I don't have to help her in a lot of other places, but with the promo items, tweaked a couple things, she's good. The other items she chose, perfect, perfect, perfect. There wasn't anything that she picked that I thought, that's not really good for your business, that's not good for your event. I mean, she was so in a line with her target audience and her event. It's just amazing to me and I love working with people that know exactly what they want and got that dialed in. And the people that don't, you know what? I love when they're open to letting me help them, letting me show them, you know what? If you go down this route, it's gonna be better for you. It's gonna actually improve your results. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Looking over this project we just completed, that was so fun. So thank you Lee for letting us do this with you and showing you how to tweak it. So remember shirts, if you're doing a white shirt, that's great if you're doing a giveaway and on a tight budget, but people like colored shirts. Look at your logo, what's gonna make it pop? Can, do you wanna add more than one type of imprint? Do you wanna just do screen printing? Do you wanna do screen printing with embroidery? Do you wanna do screen printing with rhinestones? Do you wanna do spangles? I mean, look at your target audience and your logo and what you're trying to do and how can we make that better? The coasters, you know, think about what she did. She had already set it up that she was going to be promoting her company beforehand at the sports bar where the event was going to be. What can you do beforehand? I love that she had thought that much into it. And then taking that idea, and it was a coaster, and instead of just doing an imprint, we actually tweaked that and made it so it was an event. It was an experience that they did the trivia, they go and they post their answers and then they have the chance of winning a ticket to this event that she had going on. And number three, that was the gift bags. So taking it and thinking, I don't want an item that's gonna be thrown away. I don't want an item that is you know, just wasting my money. How can I make this better? What could I do? What types of bags are there if you're doing a gift bag? For her, it was perfect to do a stadium bag, but depending on your event, it could be something different. You know, if you're doing a golf tournament and you're doing a bag, a shoe bag. There's many different things you can do, and if you get stuck and you don't know what you do, you know how to call, right? You know who to call. Call me, let me know you're stuck, and I will be there to help you. If you have any questions, if you need anything else, just let me know. I would be honored to help you with your project as well. We have a lot of fun doing these. 
And remember, if this was helpful to you, please share this out. We would love to help more people with their marketing, marketing to get relationships, to really build them, to get them to be deeper relationships, create the experience, and above all, to be fun. I hate boring marketing. I don't want you to have boring marketing. So let's do this. And remember to smile, because happy looks good on you. Have a great day.